Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a brief. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of organization. It got the following characteristics. It allows to organize the characteristics of a requirement that a client has. The key in creating a brief is that it has to be very specific and all the guidelines have to be clear and all the people involved in the development are aware of the commitments pact. The brief tool is used in the empathy stage in a project that is being worked with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. There are different types of brief, advertising, marketing, creative, product, company, or analytic. Okay, so when we develop a brief, there are a couple things that we have to keep in mind. The first thing is that I strongly recommend that the brief has to be developed between the client and the person who is in charge of the project. That is very important. So uh, the first thing is that you have to put the name of the project. Perhaps doesn't have a clear name yet, but you can make a suggestion if, if it's not done. Then describe the situation. It means put in context of how this developed coming from and what is the context that all the people involved involved in the project uh, know. After that, you need to put the objective. If you don't know how to write an objective and you don't know what is this, please check here in our channel the tutorial so you know how to write a proper objective for a brief or any kind of development. Okay. So here we start with something. It's very important that we need to know the basic description of our users. So this development is focused on. So here we put the range, range of age, uh, if it's for men, if it's for women, if it's for both. If we have an economic partner, we need to put it in because Maybe it's not a developed just for one company, could be two, three, or many more. Also very important to keep in mind the context on which this development will be uh, created. So if we need to put a, a specific characteristic in the cultural background, we put it in here. After that, we choose which kind of development are we going to make. So this is a development in advertising. This is a development of a product or service. Is this a creative um, development? It means that we need to create a concept. Is this a enterprise or if it's a marketing promotion uh, development? After that, here we pick just one. It's very important to know in which status is the development because sometimes you don't uh, start from the beginning but you start from a checkpoint from the middle maybe there's something previously done so here we need to put or if it's almost done or if is there other characteristics so here we we know because like that we know from which point are we starting after that we need to select with which resources are we going to use. Uh, we need social media, we need mailing, we need web, app, analog, UX, we have to develop a concept, we need to uh, buy or purchase something in Google Ads or any other platforms of ads, we need holograms, we need um, augmented reality, which kinds of resources. So here we can have one or we can have many. It's very important that we keep that in mind so we know what resources we need. And it's very important that we know that from the beginning. After that, we need to have the scope of the development. It means that we need to know what is the purpose of this development. If it's for already to implement, it is for a conceptualization, it is just a final art, 
It is a follow up with something that we are creating. It, it is a redone or a redesign from a previous development. It is from a campaign of expectation. It is from a launching of a product. It is for merchandising. It is just a printed uh, development that we have. Or it is a presentation for a customer to a specific development. So here we choose we, which is the scope of the development that is extremely important. After that, we need to say, okay, we start this day. And then, very important, the delivery day. When is it going to be done? It's very important that you know, this is the basic main development. However, you can put some other details in this brief so all the information is clear. The idea is that everyone involved in the project have a copy of this. So if you have any doubts, you can check it out over here. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of completing the brief, the requirements should be clear and specific to all the people who's involved in the project. That must be negotiating proportionally to the complexity of the development and the occupation of the people involved in the process. So that's very important because if I say that I'm gonna deliver a specific day, I have to do the best that I can to fulfill that expectation. The key to develop a good brief is to be specific in what you want, for whom it is intended, and how you want it. So it will be very clear and specific. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember, every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you to all of you. Um, because of you, we are the number one design thinking and innovation channel in the whole YouTube universe. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.